Good evening. Good evening. Wow, what a crowd. Look at this group. I recognize some regulars. Uh, just by a show of hands, uh, uh, who's here for the first time tonight? Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming. Good evening. My name is Godfrey Pillai, and I'm Senior Manager uh, of Artistic Programming here at Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. And on behalf of Lincoln Center, I am pleased to welcome you all to the David Rubenstein Atrium. Uh, just as a note, we are live streaming tonight's performance. So uh, a very special welcome to our audience who are viewing remotely. The Atrium is a community-focused event, uh, sorry, facing venue, programming live musical performance events all year round, 12 months out of the year, with programming that includes dance, music, theater, spoken word, and lively conversations. The venue welcomes everyone to its stage, and it's always free of charge. As part of our mission, the diverse programming at the David Rubenstein Atrium keenly reflects the rich cultural diversity of this city. And it is our hope that you see yourselves reflected on the stages here at Lincoln Center. We're very excited about tonight's concert performance of a work by Samuel Torres, A Dance for Birds. And it is with great pleasure that I welcome to the stage Latin Grammy-winning percussionist, Samuel Torres.
Thank you very much. It's really an honor to be here, and I'm feeling so excited and happy that you all are here to be part of this journey. Um, first of all, I want to introduce the wonderful musicians that are going to be with me on the stage. They are the reason that this music could came alive. So I want to give a big applause to Jimmy McBride on the drums from Connecticut. He's here. And complementing the rhythm section, to, we have two incredible musicians. And they call it, how do you call it? Um, de un pájaro las dos alas. From La Isla del Encanto, desde Puerto Rico, Ricky Rodriguez on the acoustic bass. And on the piano, the great Ahmed Alom, desde La Habana, Cuba. Ahmed Alom, desde from Cuba. On the, I will call it what, air instruments, because it's woodwinds and brass. On the trumpet, from Baltimore, Alex Norris on the trumpet. And on the saxophone, the tenor saxophone and the soprano saxophone, Troy Roberts from Australia. And when I first imagined the idea of composing this piece, the idea was to mix three worlds, three universes, like a triangle of traditions. And I really wanted to work with the string quartet, also because it involves a lot of challenges to write for a string quartet an ensemble of Latin jazz. And then, through a good friend, Santiago, I met one of the most amazing string quartets now in the United States. They are the Bergamot String Quartet. And I want to invite to the stage Amy Tan on the viola. <laughs> Irene Han on the cello. Sarah Thomas on the violin and Lida Fink on the violin. Okay, I present the ensemble. Now, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit now, because when we begin to perform the piece, I'm not gonna say anything, so I'm gonna say it, what I need to say for this piece right now. Uh, this piece was possible thanks to the support of Chamber Music America, New Jazz Works grant, supported by the Doris Duke Foundation, and we have some people of CMA here. And when I talk that I wanted to put these three traditions together, comes to my mind, okay, so I'm going to create an ensemble. It's going to be a Latin jazz ensemble, it's going to be the part ensemble, I don't know what is it. It's basically chamber music. And this is one of the, the discussions and conversations that are happening right now. What is really chamber music? And where, where is the frontier? Where are the borders between all these genres? It is classical, it's contemporary, is it traditional, is it jazz? I, I think I don't see those borders really because there's words that we love and that comes from really deep inside of us. No matter what kind of music we're doing, all music comes from here and that's where we all connected. And that was the original idea of writing this piece, connecting these traditions and taking the time to reflect on them, what they mean, 
what it means to have congas, what it means to have tonality, what it means to have atonality, what it means to have modality, what's a bolero. So during this travel through this journey of these music, you will hear these traditions and how they relate to each other. When there's some references to the classical music of the 19th century and the reference of the tradition of the Afro-Cuban rumba, where oh, this instrument, the tumbadoras, they come from Cuba. And Afro-Cuban music is where they are born. But then they flew f to all over the world, taking drumming around the world. So you will hear that. You will hear rhythms from Colombia. That is a dance. All mu rhythms that we're going to play tonight are based on dance music. You're going to hear some joropos from the plains of Colombia and Venezuela. A cumbia, that is one of the rhythms that represents my home country, Colombia, but now is played all over Latin America, from Mexico to Argentina. There's all kinds of cumbia. Are you going to hear Afro-Cuban music? You're going to hear something that resembles a bolero, or is a tango, or is a danzón? We don't really know exactly, but it's all connected. So that's when I began to compose this piece. And then when the notes began to, to appear in the paper and in the sounds, I discovered that there were birds talking in the piece. I'm like, wow, this piece is birds. The birds are coming alive in this piece. So and then I decided, OK, my piece is about birds. And then I was thinking, OK, so birds. And then I discovered that the bird that I was writing, it was not a normal bird. It was a bird that had a human mother. So I said, like, well, maybe it's not a real bird. It's maybe like a human or it's something that I invented. I don't know who's this bird that I'm writing. And some years ago, uh, I went to an exposition of a very dear friend of mine, the great Diego Pombo. He's from Cali. And he's one of the most important artists in Colombia and in Cali. He's also, yes, we an applause for Diego Pombo. He happens to be also the director of the Jazz Festival in Cali. So his connection to the music and art is completely. And then he gave me a couple of years ago a picture of his collection, El Jardín Psicotropical. And when I was seeing the picture with my wife, Sarita, that is here, we said, like, oh my god, that's the character. That's the bird that I'm imagining. So I called Diego. Hello, how you doing, Samuel, here from New York? Remember the picture that you gave me? I think the character of my new piece is your bird. I said, like, wow, amazing. So then we decided, why don't create a whole universe of birds? So the art of Diego Pombo is the one that is being, will be featured here. And also very interesting that happened is that I didn't wrote the music inspired on the image, or he wrote painted the images also inspiring the music. It was a process that it was happening. While he was writing, while I was writing the music, I would send him some, some drafts. He would send me some drafts of the images, and the piece began to come alive. The expanding movements, the, the, the songs, the birds singing, all the flying, all that began to be part of a process of composition between the graphic and the music. So I'm very honored to to have Diego Pong, but also you see that there's some of the originals being uh, at an exposition. And I think it's very important to have a multi different kinds of art together. So that being said, A Dance for Birds, I just, you will see the titles of each song. Uh, I don't want to say exactly what it has to mean for you. You, have, you can understand and feel the music and take your own journey. But for me, it's about migration. So for you, we will perform a dance for birds.
Ricky Rodríguez on the base from Puerto Rico. So Baltimore, Alex Norris from Jumping. So Rosalia Torres from the saxophone. So the Benito, Jim McBride from the Bronx. The Bergamot, the Street Porter. Kira Fink, Sarah Thomas. Karin Han, Amy Tan. And Denise Ramon Torres, thank you very much, thank you very much to Dorothy, to Alex, to Rico Center, to Chamber Music America for supporting these new projects, for remix, classic and music, traditional music, for Gary and Adi. And yes, thank you very much, and Denise Ramon Torres, thank you very much.